down below. I realized while I was looking up tutorials and artists' work and stuff, they were using words like forms and values, and I didn't know what those were, so I looked them up and I realized that is really important art stuff that I have no idea about. This art stuff is called elements of art, which are form, lines, space, colors, texture, and value. So I'll be making short video series about the elements of art. These elements of arts can be used to help you understand art a lot better and they are very good building blocks. So today I'll be explaining form. Form is turning a simple shape into a shape that has depth and perspective. When you are drawing on paper or a screen, it's a flat surface, but you're trying to give the illusion of height depth with often through the use of lighting, shadows and rendering of values and turns. For example, this is just a square, but now you can see it's a cube. I added a couple of well-placed lines and that gives the illusion of depth. With form, there are two kinds of shapes. There's geometric shapes and then organic shapes. Geometric shapes is unnatural shapes which are mathematically correct, like cylinders, pyramids, cubes, and spheres. So like this. And organic shapes or natural shapes which are normally asymmetric, freeform, or curved. So kind of like this. The knowing geometric forms from different angles and perspectives will help you understand and draw organic shapes a lot better. So for example, this is a cat. This cat can be broken down into basic geometric forms and thus making them a lot easier to draw from different angles and different perspectives. You can start practicing form by drawing different geometric shapes from different angles and perspectives. Be aware of the center line in a shape. So this is a line that wraps around the center of a shape. You can start out with a simple shape and then try drawing them from different angles and perspectives. When you're drawing a geometric shape with depth and perspective and whatever, try uh, imagining all corners and all sides and then drawing that into the the drawing. I know they seem a little bit silly to be drawing shapes like this, but getting familiar with the 3D shape and uh, being able to imagine them and draw them from your head will make drawing a lot easier especially to be able to imagine like a 3d scenario or a 3d picture and be able to put that onto the paper i, I promise just do like a couple of them every now and then just to keep them familiar but try and be aware of the depth of your shape how big is it uh how short is it how far is it from which angle are you looking at it uh, you can like feel free to redraw the ones I'm drawing on the screen right now. I'll have a lot more linked down in my description of the ones I drew. Feel free to download them and redraw them if you want. Next, you can move on to organic shapes practice. Uh, you can start with a random shape like I have here. Find a center line, so remember that center line is the middle part of your form. Uh, then you can move on to something that's called rubber bands, which is a rubber band essentially, so it's a line that wraps around a shape. Uh, this will help you imagine all angles of this. This will also make it easier to understand the width of your shape, the depth and all that stuff. So here I have more organic shapes that I've drawn. I kept the middle line and I've kept the rubber bands. So you can tell that there's like different kind of shapes here. So there's a wider circle or a smaller one or sometimes it's kind of like an oval shape. I just kept it very natural, asymmetrical. Just very flowy, I guess. And the final practice would be combining organic shapes and geometric shapes by doing these four steps. So the first one would be interlocking. Uh, this would be practicing shapes kind of sticking to each other. Um, like kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, this can be used in practice when you draw hands, like fingers attaching to a palm, because that's the two shapes you're connecting. It's a square connecting to a cylinder. Or if you're um, connecting an arm to a torso, that's another example. Uh, the second practice would be drawing shapes penetrating each other. I don't mean it like that. I mean it as in shapes kind of like interacting with each other, so uh, like a hand wrapping around an arm, right? That's just cylinders wrapping around another cylinder in basic form. But if you know that and you're able to picture that, it helps a lot with drawing and like getting down a basic sketch, so just practicing this will help and I bold that in your head. And then the final one is 
uh, cutting in half so cutting shapes that you've drawn in half uh, it'll help you imagine the rubber band a lot easier it will help uh, you know feeling that the, the 3d of that shape you know so you can cut like limbs in half or you can cut these like random like circles that I have here in half you now you can just have fun with them uh, yeah that's about it for this video they're gonna be very short these uh, elements of art videos because like they're important but they're not that important that I have, can spend like 30 minutes explaining on it uh, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video whenever I decide to post again. <laughs> okay, bye!